So we're here at the gray wolves. We actually have three wolves in this enclosure. If you want to see them, we don't howl at them, <laughs> okay? chapter is probably going to be part one and two, and then maybe a little bit of part three. And when do we go there? Is that, is, are we starting in the city and then going to that, or is the, is the hunting cabin like later on in the process? Maybe start, what if we start, start in the city and then go to the woods. So how would a school like this? Like, like, yeah, yeah, no friends. No friends. And no bully. friends. It wants to go follow the scent trail, then it cuts to the boy. He's bad at school, fights with his parents about little stuff. He hears footsteps in the cabin and he runs out and then we haven't done anything else. That's all we have so far. We really had to collaborate and ask most of our class, um, what they think would be a great story. It's not working at all. Okay, but I'm confused. Is the kid or is the kid not running away on the boat? Or what? Like, what's happening there? It might be a bit harder, but more interesting. Yeah, that, but think about the writing. It may just be a little too tricky. If we do both, it'll cause like a lot of problems. We basically have to plot out a bunch of different places, like we. Like just today, me and Dylan were plotting out what the forest looked like. I'm still kind of working on the cabin a bit. There's a secret entrance into it. There's a cave, and there's a secret entrance to get into the house that leads up to the cabin. And then there's a secret entrance to the oak tree, which is where they keep all the wolves. Wolves bite uh, uh, to protect each other, to kill prey. We're the character group, so our job is developing the characters in the story. So we do the main character, the sister, the parents, all the other characters like the wolf. His eyes, he has two different colored eyes. His left is hazel, his right is ocean blue. He has freckles under his eyes and over his nose. Our eyebrows are brown. That's what we got so far. Yeah. I can picture it. I can picture it. The average wolf is 50 pounds to 110. 50 pounds is as heavy as a grade four. A pregnant wolf is about 110 pounds or more. This is how heavy your teacher is. I'm super excited to see the tigers, said Ethan as we hit the halfway mark what on the journey. <laughs> <laughs> he was tiptoeing and running as fast as he could until the snake was out of sight. We walked into the cafe. Mom ordered two chocolate vanilla swirls. The lady working there made them as I stared at her eagerly. The smell of crap and animals smacked me in the face as I walked in the savanna. Right? We're not summarizing the whole day. Who can't visualize that? Right? I can visualize What has Ella done with that with that initial opening of her writing? She's taken the reader into her world. You guys remember that from the narrative writing unit as well? You're trying to use sensory details. Smells are very powerful, right? Right away, starting with the smell is a very good technique, okay? Right away. <laughs> so, <laughs> here's what goes on this page. Okay, so we're gonna plot out our story arc first. The second thing that goes right down here is the motivations and struggles. That is what's going to tie all four people's writing together and make it flow. As your group plots out what's going on, I want you to identify, and I'll show you where to do that on here, but we're going to identify, actually kind of in the middle, a main struggle and motivation. 
I can see it just over there. But I am so weak from my injuries and have no energy left. As I'm swimming, the water is pulling me, is, it sounds is pulling me into a bunch of like rocks. When you spell polling like that, it, it's like polling station is in like a place where you vote. Look at even in the, the, this published book, it's it's a different style of writing. Liam, the reason it's two enters is so because mine, mine only one. Because it's double spaced. Um, because you don't know what to do it. Yeah, that's like a that's like a trick. Wait, go back. We kind of have to decide what type of shoes um, really you have like. White socks, dirty, dirty, socks. dirty white socks. Okay. No, Liam, trust me. If the reason it's like that is because it's a new paragraph. Otherwise, it would just be. Uh, it would be the same paragraph. You know, it wouldn't. He's like lurking in his parents' stuff to see what like the business is about to like try and handle. It, you know, or maybe. Maybe there are a lot of. This is this is where I put on my editor hat and say sorry, no. Okay, I think I I think I have an idea. No, you keep one enter. Yeah, it is, because it's the front. It's, it's double space. Everything is double space, so it, it um, looks like more, but it's. Yeah, it just. And then there's room. Yeah. Keep going to use that. That made the most growth. Not the best room, it's the most growth. I think mine's pretty growth. Growthy? Growthy. Because, like, if you look what I started with, and then. Yeah, I changed the lot of stuff. How's that? That space for one more? Yeah. Can you just take it right off the wall and get it out? I think that'll work. Should be alright. The very first thing we need to do is we need to pick our font for our book, okay? So the two that you guys like the best is Cochin and Palatino. So that's the Palatino. And then Cochin. So who likes the Palatino? Just a regular old vote. And the other one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's go with that. Are we gonna do chapter titles here? Yes, let's do it. Yeah. All right. So you guys got to you got to tell me what they're called then. Chapter one. Okay, let's, chapter two. My escape. My escape. Chapter four. I think it needs to have the syrup in here somewhere. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Maple syrup, man. <laughs> Maple syrup, man. <laughs> is this a chapter with the axe? Yes, it is. There it is. Right there. Simple is better for titles. Okay, this is chapter 12, actually. How about Vote to Home? Home Voyage? Epilogue, should we just leave? Okay. five months working on this project together, the three of our classes. Um, so we're very excited to do, uh, to show you the product, your hard work tonight. Hope nobody peaked. <laughs>